beginner biography. Wilma Rudolph, the fastest woman on earth by Jerry Capriano, illustrated by Scott R. Brooks. Introduction. Wilma Rudolph was born on June 23, 1940 in St. Bethlehem, Tennessee. Wilma weighed less than five pounds at birth. She was the 20th of 22 sisters and brother. She was so sick as a child, doctors said she would never walk, but soon she began to run. Wilma ran it so fast that she won three gold medals at the Olympics. My doctors told me I'd never walk. My mother said I would. I believed my mother. Wilma, the early years. Wilma was a sickly baby. When she was four, year, four years old, she got polio. She lost the use of her left leg. Wilma had to wear a brace, heavy steel braces on her legs. The braces helped her walk, her stand and walk. And something good to know. A new medicine to prevent polio was used starting in 1955. It saved thousands of lives. Getting help. Every day, Wilma and her mother traveled 90 miles to and from Nashville. They went to a doctor who used heat and water on her legs. At home, Wilma's mother and siblings took turn rubbing her legs, pushing herself. Wilma started hopping up on one leg. When she was 11, she began playing basketball in her bare feet. Her father pushed her to compete with her brothers and sister. By age 12, Wilma was beating neighborhood boys at running and jumping. She grew to be 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed 130 pounds. Basketball. Playing basketball. Wilma wanted to play on her high school basketball team. When the coach picked her your older sister, Wilma's father told him he would have to take Wilma as well. The coach gave Wilma a, a nickname. He called her Skeeter because she was like a mosquito. You're little. You're fast and you're always getting my way. Becoming a runner. Wilma played basketball. She also started running on a track. She was especially good at in short, fast races. As a young teen, she never lost a race. From college to the Olympics, Wilma began classes at Tennessee State University in September 1957. By 1960, she was ready to run in the Olympics. Wilma won three gold medals for the United States. Wilma was the first Ameri Af American woman to win three or more medals in the uh, one Olympics. Because the 1960 Olympics were the first to be seen on TV, Wilma was famous when she got home. Becoming famous. The governor of her home state wanted to have a parade to honor Wilma. Wilma refused unless all people were allowed to attend, not just white people. Wilma's parade became the first parade in Tennessee open to all people who wanted to be there. Never underestimate the power of dreams.